I'm, a, I'm actually going to start over because yeah. I'm, I had our mics muted. <laughs> so I'm going to start over. Oh, so um, we were just, so, just limping everything. Yeah, we were just limping. Yeah. So uh, welcome to the channel again. My name is Eric with uh, Brother Rob here. Yeah. And uh, we're talking about... In this video, we're going to talk about Christian hip hop as it relates to uh, ministry. Should we see it as a ministry? Should we see it as a way to make money, uh, business? How do we look at that? Talk about the origins origins of that. Rob had some thoughts about um, the video that Aaron and I had made about Christian hip hop. About um, kind of we at the title that I made was it seems like it's gone away from a little bit of from Jesus. So I wanted to talk about his thoughts and as we react, talk about Christian hip hop and the culture. So Rob, what were your thoughts on? Oh, yeah, like I was saying, so yeah, like I was saying, man, it was a great video. Shout out to Aaron, man, that's my little bro. Uh, no, we've been definitely connected within like the local scene here in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, with CHH, just seeing its development, the uh, the different stages it's gone through. But yeah, with CHH, man, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a cool topic. I love it, I listen to it a lot <laughs> on a frequent basis, and um. And talking about like the uses of it and how it's come about, right? We're seeing that it's a subgenre within the genre, but then even within the subgenre, there's like more subgenres that that come about. We tend to see that there's people who right use music um, specifically for ministry. They're like, hey, I'm going to use this as a tool to share the gospel as an evangelistic approach. And some people are like, I'm going to use this as kind of a business and a way to turn yeah. up and and, <laughs> and 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 still take on like the title of like Christian hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's a subgenre within the subgenre, and then sometimes there's like a mix and stuff like that. Um, so. So yeah, talking about um, yeah CHH uh, the the way that it's uh, used now, man. I think there's I think there's some some wiggle room. I think I think some of it right is definitely beneficial. Um, the the growth that it's taken and some of it, I'm just like eh, I don't know, I don't know about that. But um, but ultimately, man, I think like to to start off like with talking about CHH, just just defining like what is music bro like what is music what is what is, what is the whole point of music like yeah. when we when we read the scriptures like we see that there's definitely times where music comes into play right i mean there's a whole book the psalms yeah. um right you see you see uh the instance with david and saul you see commands like hey sing a new song to the lord but ultimately what is it right and i would say that music is a form of art right and with art what do we do with art like what is the mandate for art like, is there a man? Is there any commands towards art? And really, we'll see that there's not really anything specific. Like, hey, you need to make music this specific way. Hey, you need to do this. So I think there's a level of freedom um, that comes with what do you do with art, bro? Like, yeah. do you do, do what do you want to use it for? You know what I'm saying? And as a as a believer, as a Christian, um, I think right, we're called to do everything unto the glory of God, right? So whether that's make art. Uh, whether that's do business, whatever the case is, um, yeah, we have to do it to the glory of God. But how do you work that out practically? Like it looks different for um, other people. So here we have art. And what do we want to do with that art? Right. Some people like to make explicitly Christian art that where they they use it to as a tool again to, to evangelize. Other people use it and, you know, they express their their worldview within it. But they tend to go more a business route with that. And some like a mixture of both. And I think there's room for both. Like, I don't really see it as something that needs to be like pinned against each other. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I definitely think there's there's room for um, for that. Um, when it started, right, when, when Christian hip hop became like a genre, definitely was more like evangelistic. And, you know, um, because at the time, yeah, in the early stages of it, people were using it as, hey, we have a medium that connects with the culture that's not really being reached out to um, by the by Christians at the time, right? This is one way where we can connect with this culture and share the gospel and proclaim the gospel. And they're doing explicit theology. And at the time, it's like conscious rap and stuff. So they're, you know, spreading doctrine and, and things of that nature. And, um, and yeah, so... So with that, it starts off very evangelistic, but then as people grow and like develop over time, thinkings change, right? And then you got other people interested in it. Hey, there's this new thing that's coming about. How do we, what do we do with this, right? So people start thinking about it more. People start interacting with it more. People start doing it more, you know? And when you have like one group of people doing it, it's like, 
their way of doing it becomes like the way. You know what I'm saying? Like because they're 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 the forerunners. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think anything's like wrong with that. Um, but other people start coming in, they yeah. start growing. You know. Let me um, let yeah. me ask let me ask you everyone who's watching. Um, if you're watching, let me know. Do you think that if you are a Christian and you are a rapper, do you think that you solely need to make Christian music, or in the same way, if you are a singer? or even a country singer, <laughs> or any type of musician, does it need to be solely um, Christian? Does it need to be have a Christian message on it? Does it need to be worship music? Does it need to be solely Christian? I want to know what your thoughts are. Do you think it needs to be solely Christian? Um, so I, I, definitely when it started, so just from experientially with my family, mm -hmm. um, and even you know with you yeah. guys who came to our church, yeah. We saw that my dad, uh, when he became a rap, a Christian rapper, switched from secular rap, Chicano rap, to uh, Christian rap in 99. He used it as um, a way to engage with that hip-hop yeah. culture, Mexican culture, mm -hmm. urban uh, neighborhood culture, and used it as a way for um, a medium to evangelize. Now Christian rap is, there's... There is that still, yeah. but it's definitely evolved to it not just being about that. Mm -hmm. And I and I don't have I don't have a problem with with like Lecrae making like things like making statements like that. Like mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a problem with him him making music that isn't explicitly like about the gospel yeah. because I think that we have freedom to to make art. Yeah. And it doesn't always need to be, it's when we create art, need to be about that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, um, what are your thoughts on, does it need to have a, your Christian worldview behind the art that you make? Or mm -hmm. should, or do they need to be separate as a Christian? How should we engage that as uh, creating art? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, great question. I think if you claim and you take on the title of I'm a believer, right? Like I'm a Christian, I'm a follower of Jesus. Uh, if you take on that title, then people are going to hold you accountable to that title, right? There's there's things that come with that, which we'll talk about in right next segments. That when you claim to be a believer, there's there's expectations, there's there's a certain set of beliefs that come with that, certain values. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you do anything, that should be expressed, whether it's making art, whether it's you know serving, whatever the case, in the, whatever realm that you're in, whatever you're doing, you you should see your values be expressed like that. And I think yeah, if you're going to be a whatever you claim to be be consistent with your beliefs you know what i'm saying be consistent with your beliefs you know what i'm saying and if your beliefs are inconsistent change them to something yeah. <laughs> consistent yeah um but but yeah i think yeah if you're going to be a believer and you're going to make anything then yeah your values will be expressed within that and whether that's whether you explicitly make a Jesus song, you know what I'm saying, or you you yeah. just make a song, you're not gonna be like, yo, I'm about to go turn up, do some ratchet stuff, you know what I'm saying? You might, you, your your, your, your <laughs> turn me, up might be a little different. Yeah, let me give you yeah. a, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, and I have this I have this on me because I forgot. To yeah. put it on me. I have this. <laughs> Are you trying to get to shine right no, now? No, no, I have this it? camera on it? me because I forgot to move <laughs> it to you. But since I'm using it, so but let. Uh, let me give you an example. So Justin Bieber is one of those celebrities that um, mm -hmm. professes professes faith in Christ. Professes, I don't know mm -hmm. if he possesses, but professes at the very least. And but he makes music that most of his music doesn't have like a Christian worldview behind it, or yeah. a consistent Christian worldview, or a biblical Christian worldview. Like um, like his one of his song Peaches. Oh. <laughs> I get my peaches from I get my peaches out in Georgia, right? Yeah, and then he gets his weed, he gets his weed from California. Yeah. Um, so here's a professing Christian, yeah. and he's he does that. Um, and then another example is like I'm um, still professing to be Christian, and then Drake made a song I think with DJ Khaled producing it called Pop Star, yeah. and Justin Bieber's in the video at, rapping as Drake, but he's. Drake's rapping it, but he's oh, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, lip singing it. Yeah, but, yeah. and then there's, you know, all kinds of just provocative things that are happening yeah. in the video. Um, is he wrong in that regard? He's professing that to be mm -hmm. a Christian. Is he wrong in in the way that he is living out his faith in the industry, in the in the art, in the arts? Yeah, yeah, so, so it's tough because we're seeing this dude, like, you know what I'm saying, go from 
disbelief to like a sense of belief, you know, um, in this case. So he's, he's, he's going through like the stages in the public eye. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's definitely tough. But yeah, if you're professing faith and you're, and you're, you're celebrating, right? Celebrating sin, right? Yeah. Then yeah, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah he, I think he, yeah. someone like him needs to be pastored a little yeah. more, like better uh, than sure. the pastors that he's had in his yeah. life. That they just need to yeah. disciple him. Well, yeah. um, do you, let's talk about let's talk about a little bit about like money within within making uh, Christian art. Like, mm -hmm. um, should we see Christian? Should we see ministry as a business, specifically Christian hip hop? Should we see it as a business? Mm -hmm. Is it okay to see it as a business? Is it okay to sell things? Um, is it okay to charge people mm. to come to your events? Yeah. Um, let me give you an, like, is it okay to charge people to come to like a church as opposed to like Grand Canyon University where Lecrae like, comes and it's a concert? Yeah. Like, what, is there a line? Are both okay? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we definitely heard uh, some stories there <laughs> with, with that. Um, but and as you think through that, what are your thoughts? Do you think it's wrong for yeah. a Christian rapper to charge for an event? Um, do you think that it's a, dis a distinction? Do you think if he was having a, like a concert at a venue, a big venue, like a, a place where you had to pay, like an, like an arena or something, do you think it's okay as opposed to it being a church? What yeah. are your thoughts, Rob? Let me know in yeah. the comments section yeah. below. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it, like to, to be able to, to sell it. Because again, um, music at the end of the day is art, right? It's, it's art at the end of the day. And if you want to choose to use that art, um, as a business, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see any prohibitions uh, with that in scripture. Hey, you can't sell art. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to sell art, boom, whatever value you ascribe to that, that's your that that's your thing. Like do you? I don't think there's necessarily anything anything wrong with that. And if you're going to charge somebody whatever value you've ascribed to that, it's up for the person on the other end to decide if that's worth worth it or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if they decide it's worth it, then that that's on that's on them. You know what I'm saying? Me, like hearing some of these prizes, I'm like, I'm probably, you know, right? <laughs> probably, you know, Are you that like, good? Yeah, yeah. You that good? Yeah, some people charging that. Really, yeah, um, we've definitely heard some critiques of people charging, but you got to think, like, within making music, like, it costs money. You got to buy equipment and yeah. things like that. Or if you're... Um, you know, doing it through connected with other people, you got to buy. There's just a lot of money that that goes into that, and you're asking people to take their talents, their their time away from their family or even with their family, whatever the case is. You're asking them to take their time out of their day to come visit you to to serve you in some way. If they if they feel like there's a value ascribed to it, I don't think anything's wrong with that. Right. Yeah. Um. So just just what brings what um, reminds me just brings to my mind is. Charging for ministry isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, like if someone wants you to be the officiant at their wedding, like it's perfectly okay. fine if you have a standard, a set price because mm -hmm. you're taking away time from your family. Yeah. And um, I think it's perfectly fine to, to set a mm -hmm. set price. If you choose not to, that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, in the same way, I don't think it's a bad thing for a pastor to, to have a set price for... Um, if they need to travel somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, if they want to say, I want you yeah. to come out here. And like, I don't know how much, like if, Hey, we're going to give you five bucks to come out. <laughs> like, that's not right. Like yeah. if we're going to, we'll fly you across the country yeah. and we'll give you five bucks. Like that's not cool. Yeah. So I think that, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. value needs to be like, it, if you're yeah. charging something that's just way over your value, mm -hmm. you know, and, and what are your thoughts on, on like churches like paying a rapper to come out? Do you think it's necessary? Do you, do you, see, do you think that there are times where it is necessary? Like, hey, this person is charging this much. Mm -hmm. Does our church need to spend it on buying or yeah. paying for this this yeah. rapper? What do you think? Yeah, no, I don't. It's definitely not necessary, right? De definitely not necessary at all, right? Because Romans one sixteen, right? The power of God for salvation is the gospel, right? Um, that all you need is the, is to proclaim the gospel. Whether you want to use somebody who's using the medium of, of art, of music, Christian rap, to, to do that, that's going to be your choice, but it's definitely not necessary at yeah. all. Yeah, you don't need a rapper to come from out of state to, to try to gather a crowd. Like, just go to that crowd and, and figure out how to connect. A lot of people are like, yeah, you just got to be community to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like some, oh, there, there's somebody in that culture. Let me reach out to somebody and, and bring it. And, that, and, like, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But if it's putting you in, like, a negative 
to to be able to do that again, definitely not. Yeah, I just don't yeah. see that. I don't see the investment being like value for the long term. Yeah, like if, if that person's going to preach the gospel, I, that's amazing. Yeah, but can't you do that too? Yeah. You know. Uh, and we got five rappers at our church. You know, we got like five rappers and music uh, yeah. artists at our church that would be willing to just go across the valley. And yeah, free, and yeah. then they'll give you the gospel. Yeah, and you don't. And you know, you can pay them. Yeah. You know, a few bucks. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and and for clarity's sake too, like I'm one that tends to use. Right, rap as a tool for evangelism. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's not like I'm like, oh, the the ministry guys are like, wrong. I know I rock with a lot of them them type of dudes and uh, got love for them, man. But um, but yeah, I just think we gotta have a balanced view like with this. Like music at the end of the day is an art. If you want to sell your art, then I think there's freedom for that. Just use wisdom. Don't be out for greed. But that's a heart matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can we measure matters of the heart? Like that's God's job. And if and through community, you know what I'm saying? Like with the church. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the fact that it just as a, like as at any point, I like the fact that you talked about just kind of greed. Like if, if you're doing it for greed, then you should probably get out of the game. Yeah. You probably should just you should probably shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. And that's just you shouldn't be doing anything. You should, like, not, for not greed. Ministry, yeah. yeah, not even yeah, as a Christian, you shouldn't be doing anything for mm-hmm. greed as a means to get something from yeah. people. Um, yeah. Uh, but I, but I mean, not even just greed within the Christian rap culture. Do you sense that there's like this competitive nature that there's mm-hmm. just like um, less of like a unity within Christian hip hop. Yeah. Like there's this competitiveness. For sure, for sure, because everybody got different goals. They're using the same language and stuff. So like, like it's just, it's just, it's different. It's it's just a it's just a, a weird situation. And then you got differing theologies, different goals. You know what I'm saying? Backgrounds. Um, so so they're just no. I'm trying to do this, and you're trying to do that. So it just gets all mingled up and stuff like that. So. So yeah, there's definitely like some some competitive like in, in those kind of senses, yeah. or you just see like a like a type of tension. Um, but you know what I'm saying? My identity is in God. So like when I'm in those situations, hey, y'all do what whatever y'all do. I'm here to do what I gotta do, and that, that's it. You know. Okay, so in this.